Touch Battle Tank 3D is instantly recognizable to anyone who's played the Tanks minigame in Wii Play. Many reasons gamers enjoyed the minigame were for the accurate controls, nice graphics, fun multiplayer, and balanced difficulty. Touch Battle Tank 3D is an effort to transition that gameplay to a standalone title on the eShop, and it fails in most areas. There are two tanks to choose from in the game, the blue tank and the red tank. They each have their own ups and downs. The blue tank fires powerful charged shots that do not bounce off the walls, and it moves much more slowly than the red tank, and it can also take 5 hits. The red tank rapidly shoots weaker shots. It can move much more quickly and jump over enemy fire, but it can only take 1 hit. Your preferred style of play will determine which tank you are better with. But some of the levels are clearly meant for a certain tank. The variety between the two tanks is clearly the game's biggest strength. There are 50 levels and 20 bonus levels in the game, and the goal in each is to defeat all of the enemy tanks on the screen. One of the background goals is to clear all of the levels with both tanks, which quickly proves itself to be a very difficult task. However, if you've played Wii Play before, you will be very disappointed with the lack of original ideas. There are enemies that shoot spread shots, homing shots, rapid shots, exploding shots, bouncing shots, and walls that can be broken, nothing you haven't seen before. The controls are pretty much the game breaker. Moving with a circle pad and jumping with the L button if you're using the red tank are fine. However, the aiming in this game is extremely awkward. The touchscreen displays none of the action that is on the top screen, but you have to use the stylus on the touchscreen to aim and remove your stylus to fire. This feels very inaccurate, especially for a game where the main focus is shooting. The environment is the same in every level, and it gets dull very quickly. The 3D effect slightly increases your view of the battlefield if you feel that the default view is too small. The soundtrack consists of one song that plays over and over and over. By the 15th level, I found myself playing with the volume muted. It's really a shame you can't turn off the music and just play with the sound effects. Another thing this game lacks is my favorite part of the tanks minigame in Wii Play, the multiplayer. The multiplayer made Wii Play great with friends, but this game just feels much more boring without the option to fight alongside or against your friends. The only people who I can recommend this game to are diehard fans of Wii Play, who just need a similar experience on a handheld, but even they will be let down by the sloppy gameplay. Everyone else should steer away from this disappointing ripoff. eShop Gamers give this game a 4 out of 10.